you, Martha. Thank you so much. I'd love to see you. Please do come in. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Excellency, Ambassador of United Kingdom to South Sudan, our His Excellencies, the Ambassador, President, Protocol Observed. Good evening, and Ramadan Karim. At the onset, allow me to thank the British Embassy in South Sudan on behalf of the government of South Sudan and on my own behalf for inviting me to this iftar. For some of us who do not know iftar, it is the meal serve at the end of the day during Ramadan, break the day's fast. So literally, iftar means breakfast. Ramadan time is not only for, for fasting, prayers, repentance, but always, but also is a time when people meet during iftar socialization because it is it bring people from different background together to iftar for iftar so socialization is a key for building and maintaining social fabric it breaks barriers which keep people apart yet as a humans of our destiny destiny is shared and independent and interdependent upon each other regardless of our backgrounds. In the spirit of breaking Paris that hold back humanity from progressing and reaching its full potential, I encourage Muslim community in South Sudan to continue coexisting peacefully with the rest of their country people to socialize with, their, with believers who con profess different beliefs, including Christians. When, the social, when we socialize and break barriers among us, it reduces chances of conflicts and it promotes peace. Your Excellency, I take this opportunity to thank the government and the people of the United Kingdom for their generosity and continued support to our people. In particular, I would like to acknowledge the vital role that the UK government is playing in education sector in South Sudan. The girls' education in South Sudan, which was initiated by the UK government in 2014 under the, under the then has increased girl enrollment in, in schools, rise their reten, uh, retention levels and improve gender party. Further, the UK funding through general education, uh, girl education, South Sudan has promoted the government to pay capitalization grant to primary school as from 2016 since the UK was paying the secondary schools. In addition to this, it has occasioned teachers' incentive, which the government had picked now through the BBC media behaviors. Change the UK funding has positively impacted our communities through community 
listening group communities have changed their studies toward education. Furthermore, the UK support education cannot wait in South Sudan, which is known as a multi-year multi resilient program. This program has supported conflicts affected areas by the providing temporary learning centers and renovated of renovation of some school. It has encouraged girls' education by providing sanitary uh, necessities and school supplies. Nevertheless, needless to say, the support has encouraged young mother to go back to school. Also, the the ECW has created awareness about children with disabilities and provided uh, a sensitive, a sensitive, a sensitive uh, device, devices for the learners. This program promotes teachers' training and pastoral education. We are also aware of the UK aid support to the health sector through the Health Food, Food Fund. Aid states out of South Sudan benefit from these health services supported by the UK. Aid mainly in centers in Greater Equatoria and Greater Bar Ghazal. The program provides health care workers with incentive and cover 700 uh, facilities but the recent cut in the in the budget will affect 20 200 facilities and 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 and, 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 and 2000 healthcare workers we we are thankful that a four month grace period has been agreed by the Health Full Fund UK aid with the Ministry of Health to allow the government fill the gap resulting for the cut the budget cut. For all this we thankful and appreciate the to the government of the UK of United Kingdom. Your Excellency, I will be remiss if I do not thank your government and acknowledge the significant role it had, role it it has played, it has been played through Troika to push for the to push and oversee implementation of the 2018 peace agreement. The government of South Sudan is committed to implement to implementing the 2018 peace agreement which will stabilize peace and improve the economy. The recent formation of the United Command Structure effort to reform the economy are, an, are some examples demonstrating the will of the RRCs to implement the two 2018 peace agreement in letter and spirit. Challenges of intercommunal violence across the country shall be overcome and living condition of all our people shall be improved. Most of, our, most of all, the government plans to produce enough food for all our people to avert food shortage and improve the living condition. Through the government efforts and with support from the inter international community in maintain peace and stability in the country, South Sudan will undoubtedly become available to violence instead standing on its own feet.
among the communities of the nation. Again, thank you for invitation me to share iftar with you. Salam alaikum.